Welcome to the Saturday Examine. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. I'm glad that you've taken time in your week to pause and consider where God has been present or even where God might have felt absent during the past week. A prayer of examine is not an examination in the sense that it would cause us to be nervous, like an important test that you might pass or fail. Rather, it's taking time to recognize that God is present to you and that he knows you. He knows places in this past week that felt like consolation, and he knows the places in the week where you felt desolation. He knows the places of anxiety or offense in you, and he's present to lead you into the week ahead. Our examine will consist of several movements, including times of stillness, where you'll take time to remember your week and to look for God in the midst of it. Being still can be a challenge for many of us. If you find your thoughts wandering, just recenter them with a simple prayer. Come, Holy Spirit. Take a deep breath. Welcome God's presence by praying, Come Holy Spirit. Let's take a moment as we begin to get quiet. Consider the week that's just gone by. Try to recall a few specific moments where you felt God's love for you or through yourself for someone else. Think about the times this week where you experienced a sense of rightness or where you felt God's consolation. Cultivate your own gratitude for those times and give thanks to God for those moments and for the people you were with in the midst of them. Now, turn your attention to times in your week where you gave or received offense. Was there a moment where you responded to someone without a generous spirit of grace? Was there a situation that felt hurtful to you? Would you offer your limitations and these offenses to Jesus and ask for his gifts of repentance and forgiveness where they might be needed? Invite him to guide you toward any act of reconciliation he might be inviting you into. Our lives as followers of Jesus are lived in in in-between spaces, between the now and the not yet of God's kingdom. As you recall the past week, ask God to call to mind a now moment, when you experienced God's presence and grace even in the smallest of ways. And then 
ask him to help you recall a not-yet moment. A moment that might have been filled with disappointment, or waiting, or a call to patience. Invite the Spirit of God to help you grow more aware of his presence in both of these spaces and in all of the in-betweens that life holds. Finally, take time to consider one thing you want to thank God for from the week behind you, and one thing you want to ask of him for the week ahead. As you pray, you might imagine yourself turning from looking backward to last week to looking forward at next week. Take a few deep breaths as you release last week to the Lord. Recenter yourself now again on the prayer. Come Holy Spirit. Take a few slow, deep breaths. Allow the words of the psalmist to minister to you as we end this prayer of examine. God, investigate my life. Get all the facts firsthand. I'm an open book to you, even from a distance. You know what I'm thinking. You know when I leave and when I get back, I'm never out of your sight. You know everything I'm going to say before I start the first sentence. I look behind me and you're there, then up ahead and you're there too. Your reassuring presence coming and going. This is too much, too wonderful. I can't take it all in. Is there any place I can go to avoid your spirit? To be out of your sight? If I climb to the sky, you're there. If I go underground, you're there. If I flew on morning's wings to the far western horizon, you'd find me in a minute. You're already there waiting. Then I said to myself, oh, he even sees me in the dark. At night, I'm immersed in the light. It's a fact. Darkness isn't dark to you. Night and day darkness and light, they're all the same to you. Oh yes, you shaped me inside, then out. You formed me in my mother's womb. I thank you, high God, you're breathtaking. Body and soul, I am marvelously made. I worship in adoration. What a creation. You know me inside and out. You know every bone in my body. You know exactly how I was made, bit by bit, how I was sculpted from nothing into something. Like an open book, you watched me grow from conception to birth. All the stages of my life were spread out before you. The days of my life all prepared 
before I'd even lived one day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.